Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at Brightpath. And in this week's episode, I want to talk about our new white paper, Managing the Whole Crisis, a Comprehensive Approach to Ransomware and Cyber Extortion Incidents. This paper came about because this has been in a clearly escalating area of threat over the last several years that most of our clients have had to respond to in some way, shape, or form. It may be that they had a data incident, a ransomware or cyber extortion incident. It might be that they've invested in planning, training, and exercises, or even re-architecting systems from an information security standpoint to better protect and mitigate against these incidents. Or in some cases, their partners, like companies like Change Healthcare or others, or even their customers, have been impacted by ransomware and cyber extortion incidents. Part of what we've seen in this that has frustrated us is that a lot of companies and a lot of leaders talk really just about the information security aspects, the cybersecurity aspects of these incidents. But the challenge is you have to manage the whole crisis. You can't just manage the information security aspects, the technical aspects. So what we tried to lay down in this white paper, uh, in this nearly 80-page report, is our thoughts on what we see in the industry and that we address not just the technical aspects, but the entire scope of a cyber crisis, offering a comprehensive approach. And so we share a lot of our experiences and our thought leadership about what this should look like in a world-class organization. So I wanna lay out six key points from the paper and from the white paper and talk about these briefly. The first is the full-scale nature of a cyber crisis. That ransomware and cyber extortion incidents are not just problems in your IT organization or your InfoSec organization. They are a full-scale crisis for your organization. It can impact your operations, your reputation, and the trust of your stakeholders. And that's your investors, your employees, your customers, your business partners, and even your regulators. Organizations, we think, often overlook this broader impact of these incidents, and they focus too much on the technical issue, the technical solution, or just focusing in on the cybersecurity issue when you have all of these other challenges to your organization's operations and reputation around you. The second is the importance of a holistic crisis management approach. In our mind, a successful response requires addressing the entire life cycle of a cyber crisis from the preparation that you do in advance, the, 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 um, the in-depth planning for a crisis, your business continuity and disaster recovery planning, the technical response planning, you know, what's your ransomware playbook, for example, all the way through response and recovery, and then the post-incident analysis or lessons learned. This approach includes disciplines in your organization like business continuity, reputation management or crisis communications, customer care, legal and compliance, ensuring that all aspects of the life cycle of this type of an incident are covered. The third is the crucial role of having effective crisis leaders in your organization. Effective crisis leadership is essential to guiding the organization through a complex cybersecurity incident like this. A crisis leader must be capable of cutting across silos. They have to be able to cut across the organization, coordinate across different departments, maintain clear lines of communication, and make strategic decisions that protect the organization in the long term. Number four is what we can teach you from real world insights and case studies. And we highlight several of these throughout the white paper. Um, it includes a number of real world examples that demonstrate the importance of taking a more holistic approach to a crisis. The fifth is, again, emphasizing that technical solutions alone are insufficient. While your technical defenses are a crucial part of protecting your organization from a ransomware or cyber extortion event, they have to be complemented by human-centered strategies like employee training and effective communication and planning for business continuity, crisis communications, and disaster recovery. Organizations need to build resilience in these areas by integrating their technical and non-technical measures and then practicing them through effective tabletop and simulation exercises. Lastly, we talk about the financial and reputational impact from a ransomware or cyber extortion event, that the cost of managing this poorly 
extend beyond just the immediate financial losses. They also impact reputation, customer and stakeholder trust, um, and long-term viability of your organization. All of those things are at risk. And then we emphasize the importance of proactive planning and again, practicing through exercises to minimize those impacts. So again, to reinforce the key point of the paper, managing a cyber crisis effectively requires a comprehensive organizational wide approach. And I would encourage you to think beyond just the IT and technical solutions and prepare for the broader implications of a cyber incident. I invite you to grab our white paper for free at any time on our website at brightpath.com slash whole crisis. Just run those together as one word, brightpath.com slash whole crisis. Uh, and I would love to hear after you've read it, your thoughts and feedback, your own perspectives and experiences on managing these types of incidents. You can reply back to any of our emails or you can drop us a note at contact at brightpath.com or just leave a comment uh, wherever you're watching or reading or listening to our podcast and articles. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.